A standoff at the border where thousands of migrants are seeking asylum after months long journeys. Our reporting partners at Telemundo spoke to this mother who says she was forced to flee political turmoil in her country, part of an influx urged on by the expected ending of Title 42, the pandemic era restriction making it easier for the government to turn away migrants for public health reasons. The policy was set to expire tomorrow. He's going to wait until then to try to cross. But the Supreme Court ordered a temporary stay. The Biden administration opposes that in a new filing tonight pointing to the CDC's conclusion that Title 42 is no longer needed because of the tools now in place to fight COVID. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, one of several Republican governors seeking to keep the policy in place, saying the Supreme Court stay helps prevent illegal immigration, while advocates argue Title 42 unfairly denies migrants a hearing on their asylum claims. After World War II, we said we would never send people back again to danger without at least giving them a hearing. Already a surge in migrant crossings has many sleeping on frigid streets in El Paso, Texas. The border city declared a state of emergency ahead of the ending of Title 42. We're going to continue to proceed as if it was being lifted. The Texas National Guard sending 400 additional troops to El Paso as the White House seeks an additional $3.5 billion in funding to respond. The Department of Homeland Security urging Congress to act. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.